Number five from paper one of the 2016 Higher Maths, still staying nice and easy. Here for two marks, we've got this little indefinite integral to write down. Find the integral of this. Notice it's a function of a function. And when it comes to integration, you can only do that at the higher level if it happens to be a function of a linear function. You can differentiate anything, but you can only integrate ones that operate on linear ones, ones that look like the equations of lines, because then the derivative of this part is just a constant. And you can flip between something and its inverse if you're just multiplying by a constant. So, two marks. So, outside, first of all, cos. What would have differentiated me? Cos, although you don't need to say that because you just look at the formulas at the front. It must have come from a sine. Sine produces cos. So that would be 8 sine of 4x plus 1. Now, if you were differentiating that expression to produce this, you'd have multiplied that by the derivative of the inside, which is a 4, which means if you're coming back to this, you need to divide by it. You're doing the opposite when you're integrating. So it'll be that divided by 4. I'll just put that down like this, plus some constant. So that then gives you 2 sine 4x plus 1 plus a constant. Now the two marks were 1 for integrating this outside function, the cos, to produce sine, 8 sine. And the second one was for dividing by the derivative of the inside function. And simplifying it, if you just left it like this, you wouldn't get the second mark. That would be the second mark. But what I can't see is what would happen if you didn't put in the plus C. I don't see a mention of what would happen if you left it like that, for instance. Because, of course, so there would have been some constant number which would have disappeared when you differentiated it to go back. I think you should just take it as if you forget that plus C, you wouldn't get the second mark.